Hi guys, my name is David and welcome back to my channel. Today, as you can tell, I am doing another tag video. I'm trying to get used to doing more of these tags as they are really easy to do, but they're also very laid back um, to do. <laughs> but um, I'm trying guys, I really am trying. So today's tag is called the song tag. I believe that this was created by book songs and other magic, but I could be wrong about that. And I was tagged by two booktubers, the first one being Bad Is Rad 2, which originally tagged me, and then Alfredo tagged me. So I thought, okay, I'll put the effort into it. Don't know how interesting this is going to be, because my taste in music is very really diverse. It really depends on my mood and what I'm thinking at the time. So be warned guys, I have no idea how interesting this video is going to be, or how interesting my answers are going to be rather, but I'll let you guys be the judge on that. I know that Bad is Rad is excited to hear my answers. So yeah, let's just get on it guys. I've got all the questions written down. I haven't uh, got any answers prepared, but I know what I'm going to say. Or more or less, in any way. So let's just get started. Question one. Name a song that always makes you happy. Now this is very easy. I'm going to say Puppet Master by Metallica. Whenever I am in a bad mood. If I am sad, grumpy, if something's happened at work, if something's happened in my social life, what will it what little I've got of it anyway. If anything has got me down, I can always rely on listening to that song and it cheering me up, it pumps me up, it gets me you know, all feeling all positive. And I love all the instruments in it as well, the guitar solos, the song, the singing, how powerful it is as a song and plus it's a real kick-ass track as well so yeah puppet master by metallica and also whiskey in the glass i think that's what this song's called also by metallica that to a certain extent but i usually listen to puppet master question two name a song that's a great fit for when you're in a pensive mood now i had no idea what pensive means or meant so I had to Google it. Basically, it means when you're deep in thought. So when I am deep in thought and questioning my life, the universe and everything, the song that I, well, popped into my mind, it's not one I go back to every single time I want to think about something, but it's one that popped into my mind when I was reading this question, and that is Shout by Tears for Fears. I will try to have links to these videos down below in the description if YouTube has their music tracks on your on this platform. But Tears for Fears is a very, I would say a calming video. It's a rock band, but it's mostly set or filmed on cliffs or on the um, cliff's edge. You know, you know where fields meet cliffs and yeah you, know, you actually get what i mean and when i was young when i was a young boy and i used to stay with my dad's parents who are sadly no longer with us they lived on the coast and when i was small i always used to by uh by myself i always used to like walk along the um cliff so I don't actually worry there was fences there to stop anyone from like falling off it was a good time i can't remember much about it but i remember parts of it still in my mind and it takes me back to that time and also there's a real great solo a guitar solo that one of the guitarists has in that song that is awesome it really is question three name a song that has changed your taste in music I had to think about this one, guys. I really had to think about it. Because when I was a boy and a teenager, my music tastes were 
kind of to the pop side, you know, like Britney Spears and a singer called Mandy, who at the time seemed to be kind of a carbon copy of Britney Spears, you know, like the like, you know, American blonde girl that used to sing about boys. Yeah, <laughs> I didn't know any better guys. And plus, I like Nickelback for some reason. I don't know why. And I think to a certain extent, I still do. But, no, yeah, not as much. So I was thinking about where my shift in music has changed. I still listen to pop music. I listen to Michael Jackson and all that stuff and Backstreet Boys. But only if I'm in the right frame of mind. But I was thinking about, okay, where has that change been from my taste in music to what it is now, which is heavy metal rock music? And um, I'm not sure. It could be either Cold Chamber, because I've got several of their uh, CDs, not records, some CDs in my room. Yes, um, people still buy CDs. I haven't bought CDs for a while, but... I don't know why I've still got them. I don't have a CD player. I think it's for nostalgic reasons. But I'm not sure if it's Cold Chamber. But I'm going to say Rob Zombie. As when I listened to that, I was thinking, okay, this is different. I loved it. I loved his performance in his videos, like in Dragula. And I just loved it. I really did love it. And it's got me more into rock music and it's and it, and people will say that rock music is very hateful and and um it promotes satan and it's very angry music and that's what drives people to be violent and angry and and uh, and uh, commit crimes trust me guys the, that that argument has been put to video games as well and I just want to say here, guys, I want, to make, I want to make it clear, guys. Music doesn't create bad people. People create bad people. Music is just a way of them to express themselves. Think about it this way, guys. If you are in a bad mood, if you are really angry, the best thing that you can do to get that anger out is to play something like Street Fighter or Mortal Kombat and get all that frustration out. I think that's the same thing with listening to rock music is that if you are really, really angry at something, you can just listen to some rock music and it will get all that anger and frustration out of you so you can get past that kind of peed off moment in your life. So yeah, sorry for the long winded answer. I would say Rob Zombie. Question four, name a recent song that you've recently discovered and loved. This is the only question on this list that I don't have an answer for because I listen to the same bands yeah, or songs on here numerous times like ACDC, Metallica, Rob Zombie, Michael Jackson, yes, Backstreet Boys occasionally. But there isn't many new bands I listen to. So what I'm going to say guys is when you comment or if you comment in this video just comment either a band or a song from a specific band or artist that you love listening to and comment down below and, and I will check out their songs and yeah, hey, maybe I'll discover something that I, or a new band that I really enjoy. Question five, name three bands or artists that you love. Okay, Queen. Queen is my top band that I love. I have been listening to them for years. I went to see We Will Rock You, which was a Queen tribute show. And them being the UK's top rock band ever, in my personal opinion. ACDC. I got into them because I'm a big Stephen King fan, and apparently ACDC is his favourite band. So I got introduced to that band through Stephen King, and I ended up loving that band. And, I don't know, let's put someone different on this list. I'm going to go with Michael Jackson, as he's Michael Jackson. What can you not love about the guy? I still remember the time when he passed away, and everybody, or, or it seemed everybody around the area where, where I live, was blasting out 
MJ music and it, you, you couldn't tell no one was talking about it but you can like feel the tension in the air and, and the love in the air as well it was a really powerful moment question six what instrument would you like to play uh, I know a lot of people are saying guitar but I was thinking about this and I was thinking okay seriously it, you know if I could play an instrument what one would it be and I'm going to go with the drums because it just appeals to me. They seem to be the like part of the band which has the beat to it. And uh, you know, I don't know. It's really hard to describe, guys. But that's what I'm going to choose. Question seven: Name a fiction book with music at the center of the narrative. Now, the only book that I can think about that has music as the main narrative or storyline is a Terry Pratchett book. I'm not entirely sure if I'm going to say its name right, but I'll put a picture up here in case I get the name wrong, which is more than likely. But I'm going to say this, the uh, title of the book is called Soul Music. Now, this is in Terry Pratchett's Discworld, and the main theme or story of this book is that rock music has been introduced to the Discworld. Not sure if I've got this on my Kindle. I've got loads of Terry Pratchett books on my Kindle. So, who knows? If I've got this one on my Kindle, I might give it a go. I want to read all the Terry Pratchett books, but you've got to be in the right mood to read them. And lastly, number eight, which isn't a question, which is to tag people. Now, I have no idea who to tag in this because loads of booktubers have been doing this. Even though technically it's not a booktube tag, but loads of people in this community have been doing this, so I have no idea who's done this. So, if you want to do it, consider yourself tagged. I'll have all the questions linked down below, or listed down below rather. So, if you want to do it, consider yourself tagged by me. And, as I said, the questions will be linked down below. So it was a really enjoyable and easy-ish tag to do. Not really as much if you don't listen to music, but if you don't listen to music, then why would you do a tag based around songs? But yeah. <laughs> but anyway, guys, I hope you've enjoyed this. I hope you found some enjoyment out of this. And I hope that you, Bad as Rad, haven't been too disappointed in his answers. My music is my music taste is very diverse. Even now, I could listen to someone like Korn or Slipknot, which were big bands in my life or big, dis or big discoveries in my life. Or I could listen to someone like Backstreet Boys. And, you know, it, it really just depends. It really just depends on my mood, what's going on in my life. And hopefully you've been entertained by this. So, guys, that's been it. That has been the song tag. Hopefully you've liked it. And I will see you in my next video.